Hello everyone, my name is Rich and welcome again to another edition of Learning with Rich. So for this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to add a cable tray in your Revit electrical project. Alright, so let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to open my view to level 1 power, okay, here. Okay, and then I'm just going to place my cable tray here so what I'm going to do first by the way if again if you're going to start your electrical project so make sure you are using the right template okay so if you're using electrical or if you're creating electrical so make sure you are using the electrical template so that all the fittings of your cable tray your conduit is already loaded inside your project so no need for you to load it manually all right Okay, so let's get started. So from the systems tab, so from the electrical, so from here you can see your cable tray com uh, tool, alright? So if I'm going to select this, I'm going to check out first the property, okay? So we, s we have here a lot of types of cable tray with fittings, the other one without fittings, okay? So let's say for example, I'm going to select here the ladder cable tray. So I select this one. Okay, so I'm going to start creating my cable tray here. So let's say, for example, I'll just go ahead and change this one. So let's say I'll just use uh, 50. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to pick my cable tray. Let's say I'm going to start here. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to pick somewhere here. Okay, so let's say for example, I decided to move up my cable tray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change now my cable tray here, the elevation, the offset to 2750. All right. Oops. All right. Then after that, I'm now going to click, let's say for example, somewhere here. I click. And then after, uh, as you can see, there's the symbol of that my cable tray has been... Uh, elevated to another height okay then after that i'm going to pick here and then i'm going to pick another one here okay there you go and then after that i select modify so what i'm going to do is this section that i have here i'll try to move this so i'll try to move it somewhere here wherein i can also see my uh, cable tray so i'm going to create my cable tray in my section view okay so to do that I'll select modify so I'm just going to double click the head here to open the section there you go so let me just move this one okay so it's like this so as you can see this is my conduit and then my cable tray is running below my conduit. So this is the conduit, uh, the cable tray. So I'm just go ahead and change my detail level to fine so that I'll be able to see my model in 3D or in not a single line. All right. And then aside from that, so let me just tag my room. So I'm going to select the systems here. Oh, I mean the analyze. And then there's the space tags. I'm going to tag the space here. You see, this is a space, right? The corridor. What's this? Office. This one is storage. All right. So I'm going to select here the space tag. And then I'm going to tag here. So I'm just going to pick here. So this is my corridor. This is my office. This is my storage. This is my reception. Okay. And then after that, I'm now going to draw my uh, cable tray. So I'm going to select modify. Then I'm now going to click my cable tray here. So I'm going to continue creating my cable tray. So I'm going to right click this one. And then I select uh, draw cable tray just to continue. So I'm going to pick here. If I want to change the elevation, so I'm going to pick the elevation that I want or the height that I want so I'm going to pick here and then let's say I'm going to pick another one here okay so you can always change the offset of your uh, cable tray so let's say I want to move up pick all right then I'm going to oops 
So if you notice that your pointer looks like this, that circle with a line inside the circle, it says cannot draw. So meaning you need to adjust more the height. So the fittings cannot uh, be placed on that particular angle because it's too sharp. So I'm going to adjust the height of my cable tray probably somewhere here. Okay, and then there you go. So I can now create my cable tray here. Okay. Okay. And then after that, what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to select modify and then I'll try to create again on my floor plan. So going back to the floor plan, level 1. Okay, so this is now the cable tray. So I can now click this one. Again, I can right click this. Draw cable tray. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to create now my cable tray. So let's say I'm going to pick here. And then I'll go here. Okay. And then after that, I can also... I can now change again the offset, let's say 50 again, and then I'm going to pick another point here, and there you go, it moves down now. And then I select your modify. Take note that you can also select your cable tray, and then you can use the arrow on your keyboard if you want to move it up and down. Okay, and then I select here and modify. So there you go, so there's now my cable tray. Now, if I want to see my cable tray in the 3D view, just like what I did on my previous exercise when I created the conduit. So what I'm going to do is, for me to be able to select the cable tray easily, I'm just going to hover my pointer to the cable tray, and then I'm going to tab. It highlights now the cable tray, and then after that, I'm going to select. There you go. And then I can select this one selection box so it isolates selected elements in the current view so i select this and it will now isolate that particular view and then i select here modify now i don't want to show my my conduit as a single line so that's why again i'm going to change my detail level to fine there you go so i can select my visual style to shade it nice all right so basically, that's how you create your cable tray and then your conduit. You just take a look at my previous exercise. So this is how you do it. Okay. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can just put it on the comment section below and then I'll, go, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please give this video a like or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. Check out the, the description of this video for more information about me. Alright? Okay, so once again, this is Rich from Learning with Rich. Have a nice day.